we have to be intentional about defining the words that we're using. You know, a coach can mean lots of different things, executive coach, wellness coach. You know, how new is coaching to actual behavioral health? How are we collectively, I think as an industry, going to say we want to learn together, but we want to make sure that we're doing it in a very safe way. So I think one of the things is really defining what is coaching for behavioral health, what is it not? How do we make sure that there are checks and balances in place so that it's never at the cost uh, to harming a person? And then how do we think about regulation and oversight nationally? So if this is a new type of engagement, a new type of service, you know, there is an opportunity here to actually sort of extend our resources. It's just that oftentimes in behavioral health, they think you only get one first chance. And imagine if your first chance is with a coach and it's not the care that you need and it doesn't end in necessarily a good outcome. So I think sort of defining what is treatment versus what would fall under the category of care and support. I think healthy competition is good. I think innovation is great. But I think we're missing the part where we all come together and say, let's start to compare this coaching to that coaching. Let's look at coaching for adults versus coaching for children and teens. And, and start to sort of build a framework together where we can gather the data, look at the outcomes, and really decide, okay, based on all of that, who is coaching for and, and what is it for and who is it not for and, and what is it not for? So I think just starting with the basics, I think we're getting swept away, which is exciting, but we're missing, I think, a collective sort of agreement to hold ourselves accountable to make sure that this is happening in a safe way.